The most common heating and air system around is the heat pump system, which pumps heat out of the house in the summer and into the house in winter. It's a great choice for virtually any house in America. But during winter, the heat pump sometimes needs a little help. It doesn't quite work as well when the outside temperature drops below 35 degrees Fahrenheit. When that happens, the system is designed to incorporate in an electric furnace to temporarily take over the heating chore. The furnace uses coiled elements that make up what is known as a heating strip to generate heat. This works very well, but there is a problem. It uses more energy than the heat pump. That is why the heat strip is used sparingly, often designated on the thermostat as auxiliary or emergency heat. When the weather warms up again, the resident should return the system to its default mode to minimize energy usage. If you're replacing or upgrading your AC system, you need to determine what size heat strip you need. As a rule of thumb, the bigger the house, the bigger the heat strip, and the farther north the house, the bigger the heat strip. For instance, Troy, Ohio will have more winter days below 35 degrees than Troy, Alabama. Therefore, a larger heat strip would be needed. Another important factor con to consider is the size and location of windows. You lose more heat through the glass on a northern facing window than one that faces south and more on a large window than a smaller one. Houses with more square footage require a larger heat strip, but also consider cubic footage where ceiling height is a factor. Rooms with higher ceilings are more difficult to heat. Is your house well insulated? If not, you'll need to either add insulation or get a larger heat strip. Heat strips come in a variety of sizes, from 5 to 20 kilowatts, and have different voltage requirements. To match your house to the right size heat strip, consider these factors. Where is your house located geographically? What is the square footage of your house, keeping in mind any rooms with a high ceiling? What is the size and orientation of your windows? And how is the condition of your insulation and weather stripping? Generally, an 8 kilowatt strip requires a dedicated 50 amp circuit. A 10 kilowatt requires a 60 amp circuit. A 15 kilowatt requires a 90 amp circuit. And a 20 kilowatt requires a 60 amp and a 50 amp circuit for a total of 110 amps. If you have any additional questions or need further assistance, please feel free to give us a call or chat with us online.